Good evening, and welcome to today's ANN broadcast. Recent weeks have been a busy time in Acadia. This month's elections brought fresh faces to many federal offices. Bluff, previously the Minister of the Interior, was elected to the Prime Minister's office, succeeding longtime Prime Minister Courtwade and pledging to work for the development of Acadia. E.g., the incumbent Minister of Defense was re-elected for another term in office. Grumpy Walnut now represents Acadia abroad as Minister of Foreign Affairs. And, Zombie Striker was elected to fill Bluff's former office as Minister of the Interior. This month's elections were highly contested with multiple runoffs required to resolve the races. As the Acadian Constitution requires a majority of votes for one candidate rather than a plurality, a runoff was required and in the case of one office a tie resulted in multiple runoffs. There was some discussion amongst officials about potentially proposing election law changes to improve future elections. The results of this election brings the Acadian Senate to a 50-50 division with the workers of Acadia Party holding three seats and the Ashahari People's Party holding three seats including the Prime Minister's office. How this split in the Senate will affect the Prime Minister's plans remains to be seen. In other news, the peace in Acadia was shaken last weekend when an attack was launched by raiders against targets throughout Acadia. Multiple Acadians were murdered by the raiders who went by the names Galactic Broom and Indonesian Beans. A large bounty was placed on both raiders by Acadia and nations including Lambat and Columbia announced they intended to pearl the raiders on site. It was quickly determined that both raiders were obviously using alts and speculation over the identity of the criminals was rampant. Soon the alarm was sounded from the fish kingdom who had also been attacked by these raiders. Ultimately the raiders were captured thanks to the efforts of Columbia who holds them at this time. Shortly after their capture the identities of the bandits was confirmed. The individuals who attacked Acadia and the Fish Kingdom were in fact citizens of those very nations. While their trial in the Acadian legal system is ongoing, the defendants publicly admitted several of their crimes and have entered guilty pleas on numerous charges including multiple counts each of murder, theft and destruction of property. They are however contesting charges of espionage and treason. ANN has made the editorial decision not to publicize the main account names of the defendants in this case. In the interest of transparency we should also note that a facility owned by the Lovelace Company, the parent company of ANN was among the targets attacked by the raiders. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Canava, located in between the arena and the Lewis Islands, is the small port city tucked away in a bay. Featuring the Canava Enchanting Store, the Governor's Palace, and the Canava Public Works. Come and see, all Canava has to offer. Welcome back. Next up we have a new segment for you. Our intrepid field reporter Jessica is out to learn more about the nations and cities of the world in a new segment brought to you by Gab on Corporation, that we call the World Tour. Hello everyone, today I am setting out on my greatest journey yet, and I'm not entirely sure where my journey will take me. I'm told the quickest way to get most places from Acadia is by rail. So, even though some people told me pretty scary stories about getting lost I decided to give it a try. I started off in New Turing, close to home in Acadia. I'm told a new rail station is in the works but for now I'll need to grab a boat and head towards Lovelace to get to the old station. I hop on the rail to the south. I heard that Gondolin was recently connected to the Connie network linking it with places everywhere and that's what should be down this rail. Reaching Gondolin I was tempted to head up to the surface and look around, I've seen pictures and it is amazing, but right now I see what I am looking for, a Connie station sits right next to, but not connected to the line from Acadia. The next city on this line looks like it is the city of England. Let's go check, that out. Arriving at the city of England to a colorful and clean station gave me the feeling there would be some good sights to see here. 
One level up, England has what looks like an extensive domestic rail system with color-coded lines. Another level up and we've been transported from a futuristic station, to a castle and city right out of the past. I was told that this castle was quite old, with some suggesting it may date back to the dark ages of 2017. Amazing. So far the city of England has not disappointed with its sights but now that I'm on that worldwide network of rails I don't know where to go next. I want you viewers to help me and let me know about the most amazing places in Civ Classic or just your hometown and why I should check them out on the next leg of my journey. Drop your suggestions in the comments on YouTube, Reddit, or share your ideas on the Acadia Discord that's linked in the description. Until next time, I'll just hang out here by this field and keep an eye out for phantoms. Thanks Jessica. I can't wait to see where you wind up next. That's all the time we have for tonight and so I wish all of you out there a pleasant night. And yeah, don't do wars. And that kinda includes raiding your own country if that wasn't clear before.